Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make a 30 minute meal. I'm gonna make some stir fry. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my rice ready. And if you watched my previous video, you know that I have a rice maker. Alright, so I'm just grabbing the rice maker. Okay, it's a professional series. Uh, I'll go ahead and plug that in. And I'm going to add my rice. Here's my rice. I'm going to do one cup. I'm going to add two cups of water. There's one. There's two. And a little extra just in case. All right. Then I'm just going to pop the lid on there. And I'm just going to press this uh, knob down and it's going to start it. So I'm moving that over. All right. So next I'm going to take... Um, or get my vegetables. All right, so I'm gonna put in some celery. I have these peppers that nobody's been eating, so I need to use them, so I'll cut those up. And then I have a bell pepper. All right, so let's go wash those. I'm also gonna grab some cabbage. So here's my cabbage. Hi! Oh, you can't see it. Hi! All right. Just gonna take the layer off. There we go. All right, so there's my cabbage that I'm gonna use. Okay, if you were wondering what I was doing, I was trying to make room on the stove. Um, I have a toaster, I have a Keurig, so I'm trying to move this stuff. But I'm showing you that I can do it in 30 minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and get a pan started. I use this big pan. And I'm just gonna put some oil in here and it doesn't matter. You can use whatever oil you wanna use. Olive, sunflower, vegetable. Oh, somebody's trying to get my attention. They have a adapter so I could get a microphone, but I've already started and I've already started a timer of 30 minutes. All right, so I got the pan going um, and I put it on uh, medium heat, medium high. All right, so once that gets getting ready, I'll start putting the vegetables in, but I'll just cut them all up right now. And I had already washed my celery and I put on the wrong burner. Guys, I, 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 I guess I can't talk and cut at the same time. I realized that in the other video. So I'm just going to take a couple of these and I'll do a big one here. Some of the bigger ones. Let me get a bowl for this. So I have more room for cutting. All right. This is my favorite knife, but somebody always puts it in the wrong spot. <laughs> 
I don't have the kitchen uh, until the caretakers leave. Um, like I said, I work from home, but my mother and my cousin come in during the day to take care of him Monday through Friday. And I have weekend duty. So, all right. That way none of us are getting overwhelmed. And you know what, this is stir fry, so I'm gonna try to make these longer cut. It doesn't matter. I know everybody likes everything to look pretty and that's why they're like trying to cook to make it look like the recipe, but if you have a couple bad cuts, it's okay. As long as the majority of them are um, you know, look the same. Did you see that? I almost cut my finger. I'm really not bad at this, guys. Maybe I get nervous knowing that you guys are going to watch me and critique everything that I do. You know? And again, I guess I can't talk and cut at the same time. Just a couple more. So this is for... Uh, me, my son, my son's friend, and my husband, and um, if my brother wants some, he, he's more than welcome to have some as well. Yeah, it's kind of hard going from cooking from one on the weekend for my grandpa. Um, I've gotten so used to it, and then on the weeknights, um, I usually just cook for me and my husband, but there's going to be plenty because I have three chicken breasts. So getting these cut up. Okay, I have this yellow one. There's a lot of seeds in these. I didn't realize that. I usually eat these peppers whole. I have a sink behind me, so it makes it, makes it a little bit easier for me to go over there and just dump the seeds in there. So, I hope everybody's having a good hump day. Hope everything's well. Um, if you don't see this until Thursday or following hump day, happy whatever day it is. But it's Wednesday for me. All right, I'm just going to throw these away real quick. All right. So I also have a green bell pepper. And it's just easier for me to... Chuck everything in the sink behind me. That I know it looks like a lot of vegetables. But if everybody, um, you know, takes a serving of this tonight, then we won't have leftovers. But if nobody wants a serving, then I will have lunch for tomorrow. And I love leftover stir fry. It just tastes better. I'm not doing onion because some people don't like Oh, one person here doesn't like onions. I think I was explaining how I know some people that don't like onions. And um, my son's friend is one of them. And the reason why I'm cooking for him tonight is I feel really bad because he just had his appendix taken out. I usually don't uh, make dinner for those guys because they're young men and they can fend for themselves. But I'm being nice and I'm making them dinner. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse this off and I'm gonna do my chicken. I'm putting a, a wet paper towel underneath so it doesn't slide, okay? And remember, if you're slicing your chicken first, make sure this gets 
cleaned really good before you do your vegetables. But that's why I always do my vegetables first. So then I just have to rinse it off. Okay, so I have my chicken and I'm just cutting it into, and I'm sorry, this, guys, this has been marinating for 24 hours. So I can just smell it, it smells so good. All right, I'm just cutting this in semi-decent um, pieces, semi-decent, what is semi-decent? You know, like, size like that, a bite full. Because it will shrink up when you cook it, so. I'm just gonna cut this. Like I said, I don't know what time I started. We'll find out when I end how long this video really did take. I'm trying to keep meals under 30 minutes for you guys, including grabbing everything and prep time, 30 minutes. Because I know everybody's tired, everybody's just gonna call up. You know, it's nice to go out and eat once in a while. I mean, we do it once in a while too, but also, you know, it adds, that adds up when you're doing it all the time. You know, going out to eat all the time, it adds up. So, if you have some chicken breasts, you can buy them when they're on sale, and um, you can just freeze them until you're ready. Um, so, so you freeze them and say you're like, okay, I'm gonna have chicken on Monday, which means you're gonna thaw them out um, on a Saturday, and then marinate them all day Sunday, and you're good to go with a great meal come Monday. Um, you know, everybody gets a little tired because they're after the weekend, especially young people. You know, they they did they did their workout on the weekend, if you know what I mean. And so Monday comes along and they got to go back to work, so they're tired. And this is a great, you know, not too uh, fattening. dinner that you can get on right away and I used to have a wok you know one of those big big pans I don't know whatever happened to it all right guys I have one more breast to do I know this looks like a lot of chicken but remember there's four men that I'm trying to feed and myself. This looks like uh, I'm cutting them pretty decent. What's the word I'm looking for, people? Similar size. What's another word for similar size? I know you know the word. <laughs> I know the word too, but it's in my file somewhere and I can't find it in my brain. Cohesive? No, not cohesive. Similar slices. Oh well. You guys can put down in the comments the word that I'm looking for. I'm trying to get all these pieces. All right. So then I'm going to take this and make sure I wash it. So um, you'll hear me washing in the background. All right, so I'm going to wash my knife. And I'm going to, I'm going to let that pan soak. All right, guys, what I'm doing is cleaning up my vegetables. So I had a whole bunch of vegetables. You know the stuff that you cut off that's not good to eat you know that may be a little um, yellow or whatever so I always have a bowl that I put all that stuff in and then I empty the bowl in the trash and then then I just wash this bowl out um, and then I can use this bowl for my cooked vegetables when I'm done so here's my veggies and they're getting nice and tender. All right. 
And I can't show you my rice because um, it's going crazy. Let me see if I can move the camera over there too. Let's see, can I move the camera? Can you see it way over there? I don't know if you can see it way over there. All right. So we got this mound of chicken right here. Let me get the camera. Okay. And then all you need is some soy sauce um, to season the veggies. And I don't even add salt because the soy salt is salty enough. And you can add other spices that are of, um, you know, that you find in stir fry. I just keep it real simple. I try not, I want to taste my veggies. I want to taste the chicken. Like I said, I marinated it um, with some Worcestershire sauce and some other spices. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what I use. I just grab this and that. Um, but for mostly for stir fry, I do it with soy sauce, oil, um, some Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, that's how I usually just season my chicken. All right, it's looking like the vegetables are good. You don't want to cook your vegetables too much because you want them to have a little bit of crisp. All right, so I'm going to put them in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the chicken into that pan. As you can see, I took all of the vegetables out. All right, so I have the chicken in there. And while that's going, I'm gonna clean up my mess. I'm also cleaning up that dish that um, had the marinated chicken in. All right. I also did clean the, my, I made some hot chocolate for my grandfather before he went to bed. So I cleaned up that pan because I heated up some milk and added, you know, chocolate. And then I also cleaned up, somebody left their water glass there, so I washed that. So I'm gonna move you guys. So I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce into this. That's just to get the flavor of an actual stir fry. All right, I'm cleaning up this side where I put the vegetables and the chicken and I put I'm going to put my um, vegetables away. I'm going to put my rice away. So I'm putting my vegetables back in the refrigerator. All right, you guys. So I really want you to think about investing in a rice cooker because it's going to save you the hassle of, is my rice going to come out right? Is it going to come out hard? You know, um, I used to make rice the old fashioned way and I mean, I got used to making it and it came out good, but this rice cooker, you can't go wrong with it. And I do have three breasts of chicken in here, so it's going to take a little longer to cook than if you were just cooking for, um, you know, two people. You know, like I said, I'm cooking for five, but it should be delicious. And I don't want to overcook my chicken. Once it's no longer pink, that means it's good to go. And it'll be nice and juicy. And it won't be dry. My rice cooker is very old. And I might have bent it so the lid doesn't sit on there tight. You can see it bubbling over. So I might go, I've had this for a long time. I think I've had it for a long time. Um, my mom gave it to me. But I think I might have to invest in another one. But they're not that expensive. 
Boy, lots of meat over here. It's all right. My stove top is clean. This is where you're just waiting for that to heat up and you can clean up your area. Look at that, it's getting done. So I know they, somebody told me, if you want to succeed on YouTube to make your videos between 10 and 14 minutes. Well, if I'm doing a 30 minute meal, like I don't want to go for 30 minutes. I'm going to try to knock it down between 10 and 14. But uh, just for my sake to know that yes, it's a 30 minute meal. I am going to see how long and I will not lie to you, you guys. I will let you know, hey, it took me 32 minutes, not 30 minutes, or something like that. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for just another couple minutes, but uh, it looks good to me. There's no pink pieces. All right, so my um, rice clicked on to warm and it's ready to go so what i'm going to do is start plating this for you guys and it, it's going to be done so hard to gauge on my picture where to put the plate to show you and i keep there we go i got it now okay all right so now i'm going to plate this and I just use a nice little ice cream scoop to get a good serving of rice in there. And then I grab one of these. It's a pasta uh, spoon, but it works great for my veggies. I'm just going to grab some tongs. And I'm going to grab some of that. All right, guys. And that's it. I don't know how long that took me. I'm looking at my clock right now, and it says 33 minutes and 36, 37, 30, whatever. <laughs> you guys get it. So yeah, so there it is. It did take a little bit more than 30 minutes, but by what, three and a half minutes? It can be done, all right? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Ta-ta for now.